What's up, peeps? As many of you may or may not know, I am a spray paint artist. If you didn't know that, go check out some of my painting videos. Anyways, I've seen and received a lot of questions asking about spray paint art. How do you start? What materials do you use? Where do you get them? How do you do this or that? So I figured I'd make some helpful videos introducing people to the world of spray paint art. In this video, we're gonna cover how to get started and basic materials to do so. The first thing you need is patience. So many times I've gone to teach people how to spray paint and they give up after a couple days. You simply cannot do that! I was terrible when I started. Now I consider myself pretty okay. No one is perfect at anything when they start something new. That's a fact. You just gotta stick to it and keep practicing until you get better. Something else that you can do that will help out is watch other videos of people painting to help you get the general concept down on what to do. The more you're exposed to something, the easier it will be to develop skills towards that. But simply watching videos won't do the trick. You have to practice. You simply can't watch videos of someone doing something and hope to inherit their skills. That's not how it worked. If it did, the world would be a much better place. You personally need hands-on experience in order to get better at something. Anyways, on to materials! When you're first starting off, materials you need are few and inexpensive. These items include spray paint, poster board, magazines, circular lids, and a respirator. For your paint, poster board, magazine, make sure all are glossy. When in doubt, go glossy. First off, there's spray paint. The first colors you need to start off are just black and white. As time goes on, you can get more colors to make your paintings more interesting. When you're first starting off, go with more inexpensive brands of paint, like this. These are going to be your practice paints. However, these brands tend to not mix and blend very well, so that's why you're going to use them as practice. When you get a little bit better, my preferred brand is Rust-Oleum. It costs a little bit more, but by far it has the best quality of paint that I've seen. Now on to the number one thing I see people asking about materials. Poster board. Poster board is the spray painter's canvas of choice. It's inexpensive, and you can make many paintings out of one sheet. As a side note, make sure you always paint on the glossy side of glossy poster board. If you paint on a non-glossy surface, usually the paint soaks right in and it makes it nearly impossible to work with layers and textures. Magazine sheets should have large glossy pages in order to create your textures. Non-glossy paper, like printer paper or newspaper, works just not as well. Circular lids are used for protecting textures and serve as plant stencils in your paintings. Get a variety of sizes too, your paintings are going to be boring if all your plants are the exact same size. Also, add a folded piece of tape to the top of these so it makes lifting off the painting a lot easier. Lastly, you need a respirator. This is going to be your most expensive piece of equipment, but it is by far your most important. You really gotta protect your lungs when you're working with spray paint, and going too long without a respirator can really damage your lungs. Don't go for very long without a respirator. If you can't get access to one right away, use a duster's mask or a handkerchief or something. For a little more info on the products, look in the description. I'll also have an intermediate tool tutorial up soon, so keep an eye out for that. Until then, grab a can of paint and start practicing.